18 people were killed while three others were injured in an accident that occurred in Yobe State. Hi, welcome to What's Happening. These are the top 10 stories now. At number 10, the federal government has launched the first national eye health policy to increase accessibility to eye care services for Nigerians. The Minister of State for Health, Dr. Olorunimbe Mamora, at the launch of the policy on Thursday in Abuja, reiterated the importance of vision to the socio-economic development of the people. The National Eye Health Policy is Nigeria's first comprehensive national eye health policy which scales up existing eye health services and ensures that no one is left behind through approaches that ensure equitable access to quality eye care services. At number 9, the federal government has said that the Independent Corrupt Practices Commission tracked 2,000 projects worth over 300 billion naira between 2019 and 2021. The Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, who disclosed this in Abuja while briefing the media on the giant strides of the President Muhammad Buhari administration in the anti-corruption fight, said the tracking was done through its constituency and executive projects tracking initiative. According to Mr. Mohammed, during the same period, 326 contractors who abandoned projects across the six geopolitical zones were forced by the Commission to return to the site to complete projects worth 32.183 billion naira. He added that the ICPC also secured 66 convictions from the 243 cases it filed in court during the same three year period. At number 8, Sweden has opened a new consulate in Lagos State to broaden economic cooperation between Nigeria and the Nordic country. The new Swedish consulate was inaugurated by the governor of Lagos State, Babajide Songwulu, at the landmark tours on Thursday. Speaking at the ceremony, Swedish ambassador in Nigeria, Carl Michael Granz, said the consulate in Lagos would be a focal point for trade and social cultural activities for both countries. At number seven, the special advisor to the president on media and publicity, Femi Adeshino, has said that President Muhammad Buhari does not associate with treasury looters and hits them with passion. Adeshino stated this in a statement titled PMB and the NDDC, which he shared on his official Facebook page on Thursday. The presidential spokesman noted that anyone with financial misappropriation record can never be a friend to the president irrespective of his office or background. At number six, the Deputy Senate President, Ove Omoagege, has said the National Assembly is considering about 55 amendments to the 1999 Constitution. The Deputy Senate President made this known at a two-day retreat for the Joint Senate and House of Representatives Ad Hoc Committee on the Constitution Review. He said the 55 amendments being considered were drawn from the numerous positions presented to both the Senate and House of Representatives by Nigerians. At number five, the opening ceremony of the Beijing Winter Olympics began on Friday amid COVID-19 concerns. The opening ceremony was attended by Chinese President Xi Jinping, under whose rule China has adopted a more muscular attitude internationally compared to 14 years ago. Zi, who declared the Games officially open, was joined by more than 20 world leaders, including Russian President Vladimir Putin. Athletes will compete at the Games, which will run until February 20th. At number four, Nigeria Navy has disclosed that it has deactivated 175 illegal refineries and arrested 27 vessels under 11 months. The outgoing flag officer commanding Eastern Naval Command Rear Admiral Sanusi Kazim Ibrahim, who disclosed this during his handing over ceremony on Friday, further revealed that 35,384,718 metric tons of illegally refined automotive gas oil were evacuated, while several pirates' kidnappers' hideouts were destroyed. He said that piracy in the Nigeria's maritime domain reduced. At number three, the Nigerian government has created a new government agency called the Nigeria Data Protection Bureau. President Muhammad Buhari approved the establishment of the new agency following a request made by the Minister of Communications and Digital Economy, Professor Issa Ali Pantami. According to a statement issued by Pantami's media aide, Uwa Suleiman, the NDPB was established in line with global best practice and will focus on data protection and privacy for the country, among others. 
President Buhari also appointed Dr. Vincent Olatunji to serve as the National Commissioner and Chief Executive Officer of the Bureau. His appointment takes immediate effect. At number two, students of the Adekunle Ajasin University in Akumba Akoko, Ondo State, trooped out of their campus on Friday to protest against the incessant road accidents in the town involving trucks. The protest was fueled by the death of one of their colleagues who was hit by a trailer on Thursday evening. It was gathered that after killing the victim, the driver of the truck attempted to run away but was arrested and handed over to the police in the community. The protesting students gathered in front of the school gate, barricading the Owo Ikare Akoko Expressway, chanting various solidarity songs. Finally, at number one, 18 people were killed, while three others were injured in an accident that occurred in Yobe State. The spokesman of the Federal Road Safety Corps in the state, Husseini Haruna, confirmed the incident on Friday. He said the crash happened late Thursday when a car collided with a passenger bus along a highway in Yobe. He said a total of 18 people died in the accident, which was caused by speeding and violations of traffic rules. Three other people were injured in the crash. Always remember to wear your mask, wash your hands and stay safe. That's all for today. See you next time on What's Happening.